How often do people dismiss the idea of preparing for their eternal salvation as something they'll worry about when they get older or sick? Yet when they get old, if they get old or get sick, more often than not, they find it too late to turn back from their sinful ways. As the readings for today's Mass make very clear. Dear brothers and sisters, salve Maria. There's a well-known Latin proverb that says, talis vita finis ita. The way you live is the way you die. And there is no better portrayal of this principle than in today's readings from the book of the prophet Daniel and the Gospel of John. Both readings present us with women who have been accused of adultery. Suzanne, in the first reading, was slandered by two elders of the people because she thwarted their attempts to defile her. And in today's Gospel account, a woman is brought before our Lord by the Pharisees, having been caught in flagrant adultery. Nevertheless, the two accused women could not have been more different from each other. While Susanna was completely innocent of the accusations made against her, the woman in the Gospel was actually guilty of committing adultery. The same, however, cannot be said against the prosecutors. In both instances, the accusers were inveterate sinners. They had, as the prophet Daniel said, grown evil with age, because they spent their entire lives doing evil, and were thus incapable of feeling repentance in their old age. You see, when a person reaches old age, he becomes a byproduct of his younger years. And when he has lived his whole life like these two elders and the Pharisees of the Gospel, he grows even more hardened, remorseless, and indifferent to sin. His heart turns into stone. I read a story a long time ago about an elderly man who, in his youth, led a bad life and never made amends with God. One day, a good priest came to visit him on his deathbed in an attempt to administer the sacraments. But despite his pleas to repent and confess, the wretched old man didn't want anything to do with it. And finally, dismissing the priest, he said these words, Don't bother yourself anymore, Father, because the loaf of bread is too hard for the knife to slice. With these words, he implied that his heart had become hardened in sin and would no longer be converted. And in this state of final impenitence, he died. Thus proving what it says in sacred scripture, a stubborn heart will fare badly in the end. So if I need to convert, if I need to give up some vice, or overcome some defect, now is the time. Tomorrow will be too late. Because first of all, will I even reach old age? And secondly, even if I do, will I repent? Will my heart not have hardened by that time? So let's prepare now for our encounter with God. It could be at any moment. And even if it only be 50 or 60 years from now, it's always good to be prepared. And above all, living this way, will give us a truly happy life, something that these men sought in sin and never found. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.